now that the mic is on, we can actually start the video. Because uh, before, uh, the mic wasn't on. So, like I was saying in the other intro, today is a weird lift. Um, firstly, it is Christmas Day. So, Christmas Day lift. Um, so, it's a big uh, it's a big day. Obviously, it's already been a quite long one for me. Uh, two, it is 5 p.m. I normally lift at about 11.30, 12 o'clock. So, uh, I have three meals in me. And I'm taking my pre pretty late because I'm not going to get to the gym until about 5.30. So uh, I don't usually drink pre this late, but I'm going to have to. And three would be I'm going to my, um, my powerlifting gym because my other gym is closed. So normally today is a close grip and back day. I would normally go to my other gym, um, but I'm going to have to go to my powerlifting gym today because my other gym is closed early because it's Christmas. So, I might have to change some accessories up, is what I was saying before. Um, I don't know which accessories I'm going to have to change, if anything. But, I have pull-downs, I know. I have chest-supported row. I have chest press, and I have curls. I don't know if I... And I have... I don't know if I have anything else. I might have something else also. But, normally today, I would do pull-downs, and then I have a chest-supported row machine right next to my pull-down in my other gym. Um, since I don't have that machine, I know we have a chest-supported T-bar row. So, I'll either do that, or I can, like, kind of make myself do a chest-supported row with the other weird kind of cable setup we have. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I might have to change some accessories. I don't know. Either way, I have close grip today on the actual better bench. So, it's maybe not the worst thing wrong because I haven't done close grip on the better bench since I've been home. And my close grip's been really lacking. Um, my close grip in general is my hardest lift because it's even more range of motion on my bench and I already have super long arms and not such a crazy arch. Uh, so my close grip's been a little iffy and I've been doing it on the really shit bench, which is really low. Um, so it's just been really hard to do close grip. But hopefully today, since I'm on the good bench and everything, it should be better. I'm going to imagine I'm the only person in the gym today. I don't know who else is going to go on Christmas Day at 5.30. Uh, maybe. Maybe. But I'll probably be close to the only person in my gym, so can't push it that hard because I won't have a spotter, but it's okay. Other thing is uh, my coach wants me to change my bench form a little bit. Not really my form, but he wants to change my setup. He doesn't want me to pull myself into the, uh, the, the, like, the bench with my arms anymore. So he wants me to just use my feet to push myself into my arch and then use the bar to push myself down. Uh, so I'm going to try that today. And we'll see if that makes it better or worse. Probably I'm going to imagine worse for now because I'm already used to the other setup. But we'll see. Um, and there's obviously a reason I want me to do it. So my leg drive wasn't too constant during my uh, PR. And he thinks it's because of the way I set up. Because it's kind of impossible to like keep the same leg drive when you use your arms to pull yourself in. Because you don't have your arms to use during the lift like against the pad. So... If you use what you only have during the lift to set up, you should be able to do exactly what you do during your setup and your lift is the goal, I imagine. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know. I think I have like four. I have like a top set and three back downs of close grip and then just a bunch of back and stuff. Today's usually my fastest day. Uh, it's usually the quickest day for me in the gym and usually I go to my other gym. So I usually back and forth to my house pretty quick too, but... I have a little bit more of a drive today because I'm going to the other gym, so it's okay. It is Christmas, and I'm taking my period really late, so I hope I can sleep tonight. Uh, and tomorrow I have the SPD day, which I might just film because why not just film every single day in the whole week, right? Uh, there's no real reason not to, I guess. But we'll see how if I'm burnt out tomorrow or not. I should be fine. Uh, but, yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the gym. First one up. Um. I only have like two warm ups, so we'll see this new setup though. I don't really know how to do it, but we'll see. Okay, that's definitely what I do. So just find the feet placement, I'll be good. I'm <laughs> 
Somehow, this is my last warm up, so I'll do like three. I, I want the pot to actually be good here. Um, let's get it. Hey, close grip. <laughs> Alright, top set was probably a little bit overshot, but you know what? Fuck it, we ball. Um, these might be a little hard. That's fine. Still six, three sets. More. That last I was gonna ask, I hit the rack when I tried to reset it, so I think this one better. <laughs> Why? That's it. Make this fucker move.
Easy. Right. 12 is going to be hard because I only dropped five ten pounds, but I said it was really easy, so I'd rather go like pretty much failure here. And then we'll just drop the next set. Wait, let's see. This bar path is weird. It's like the curve is like crazy. Like the strength curve is like really hard at the top, really hard on the bottom, super easy in the middle. So, like, once you get past the middle or the top, you know, it's like easy. So, I wasn't expecting that, but. but Oh, <sighs> 
Oh, fuck. Alright, we have to split over. I am going to eat this rice crispy, which is a big ass rice crispy. Um, and I have my creatine and EAAs because it's late. I use the creatine at like 4 o'clock, so I'm just going to drink them together. And then we got a sea bar rock. So, see you guys when I'm doing sea bar rock. I wish I could be able to do that. I like you for being strict. I never use some shingles, so I don't eat. Maybe so. Probably pretty light, but whatever. So weird, I'm not going to do so. Alright, let's go. I lied. I put five pounds on, so eighty-five. Just want to keep the form of the shirt. So. One more. Alright, I have a chest press now. This might be heavy as shit, might be light as shit, don't know.
Let's get 10. I like, failed the last time, so I think 10 this time. I'll be happy. Let's go. Three more sets. Three more. Three more. Come on. That was hard, so let's go.
One more. Last set. I'm fried. Let's go. Halfway, halfway. Oh my god. Let's pose. And go home. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully you can see me. Uh, all right, first off, I'm, I'm a fucking dumbass. Um, so I didn't film uh, that, or I filmed, but I didn't put my mic on for my posing clip. So uh, that audio is going to be muted. And I'm just, I'm stupid because I was wearing my bench shoes for the whole session, which I forgot about. And I walked outside, and it's all wet outside, and I wore my bench shoes outside. So now my bench shoes are uh, wet, and that's bad because they are rubber, and rubber gets wet, and then it gets slippery, and that means I have to, like, take a paper towel and dry them off tomorrow. And I never have worn them except for on a carpet. So they're going to be, like, low-key destroyed, which pisses me off because I kept them in perfect condition until right now. But either way... It's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit annoying. I'm a little bit OCD about that. I'm kind of pissed I didn't turn my mic on for that last posing because I would have just reposed, but it was actually a good posing session. And I almost passed out during that posing session, which I said on my mic, but you guys didn't hear me. Uh, but whatever. So, yeah, like when I, uh, after I did my front lat spread and then I did my upper pose, I turned around and I was like, oh my God, I literally was seeing stars. I almost passed out. But that was like, it felt like a good pose. I didn't see it on camera yet, but it felt like in person it was a good pump. Uh, which is good, so I will take that. don't really know where I'm going. I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, I think so. There's no traffic. There's always traffic here, so it's weird with no traffic, and at night, and I don't have directions, but it's fine. Um, so, yeah, I was definitely wrong about the gym being empty. Holy shit, that's the most packed that gym has ever been. I had to wait for a rack for a close grip, and uh, there's a lot of people there. A lot of people I actually know, which is kind of cool. Uh, so I'll take that. It was busy, though. I thought it was going to be empty. I was like, who was lifting Christmas night like me? as only psychos, and there was a lot of us, so I guess we're all psychos. Uh, the overall lifts, close grip, I definitely overshot a lot. Um, it's not really my fault, to be honest, because the last 
three sessions I've taken, the, like, all this whole entire block, I've had the same weight for close grip because I was on the other bench, and my pauses weren't good, and then all that. So, like, he just wanted me to keep retaking the weight, and this week I was like, okay, I'm on a better bench. I'll get command so I know I don't cheat the pauses, and I'll just go for it. And I did 90, and, it, and like, it moved. I think it was, like, honestly, like, in my opinion, it was, like, a 7 because I definitely could have – I feel like I could have done three more reps. I have a feeling my coach is going to be like, that's an 8. You overshot like crazy. It probably did. It was supposed to be six and a half. Um, I think it was a 7. But I actually think it felt pretty good. The setup without using my arms was definitely interesting. Uh, and it wasn't bad. It was I was very slidey. Like, I felt like I was in very different position, which I said to him is probably going to happen. But that's okay because once I grab the bar and push myself down, I'm actually in a good spot. So it's really not bad. Um, I like it. We'll see how it is for my comp bench when I do it next block, which uh, is the next time I comp bench. I have a tempo bench on uh, Thursday. It was the last day of this block. Or on Wednesday. No, no, on Thursday. Um, so I'll see how it is for my, like, wide grip bench at least, like my actual bench, and then I have Larson tomorrow. So we'll see. Yeah, for Larson, it's not much of a difference because my feet are in the air anyway. So I got my heels down, though. I feel like a lot closer than I normally do, which is a good thing. I don't know. The only thing I'm struggling with, sorry, it's not that I don't know. Um, whenever I would, like, unrack the bar, I had to, like, reset my ass, like, four times to get my heels down, which is kind of weird because my heels are on the floor when I unracked, and then for me to get into a position where I'm actually like flexing anything I had to like reset like a bunch I don't know why that's probably just me not being used to it and me hating close grip and feeling uncomfortable with close grip but still better than my other benches for sure um so I will happily take that and uh yeah the main issue I have right now is I have 900 calories for the day I need 91 grams of protein still uh and I just actually decreased my calories today by about 200 a day because my app that I use had me on track to hit 182 January 5th. And I need to be 182 for my meet, which is January 20th. So I decreased my calories a little bit so that I hopefully hit my weight exactly 182 on the 20th. Meaning I shouldn't have to water cut. I shouldn't have to cut at all. I should actually shouldn't even have to skip a meal. And I should weigh in perfectly. That is my goal right now. Um, if I have to water cut or I have to skip a meal, whatever, it's not a big deal but I'd much rather be fully normal just like it's every other day and just lift. That'd be great for me. So that's the goal right now. And, uh, yeah, I got to go figure out a meal that's going to get me 91 grams of protein and 900 calories. I already think I have an idea of what I want to do. I'm probably going to do like a, a 200 grams of protein in a bowl, like a 200 grams of protein yogurt with a scoop of protein powder and then maybe like some peanut butter or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. It's going to be a nice, weird meal because it is 8 o'clock, so it's probably going to be my last meal of the day. Um, yeah, overall solid session. I think my pump was good. Uh, I did have to sub, like, chest supported doors, like I said, and that bench press machine is an incline bench press machine, which I didn't know, but either way, it was fine. Uh, yeah, solid session. I need to stop saying all right. Uh, when I edit, I was editing yesterday, I edited both my videos. I say all right at the start of every single clip, and it pisses me off so bad I start cutting it out. So today, my goal is to not say all right in every clip. I don't know if I didn't. But my goal from now on is to not say all right whenever I start a clip. Because it hisses me. It's so annoying, and I don't know why I do it. Uh, so I'm going to stop trying to do that. But we will see. I will maybe see you guys tomorrow for SBD. And I'll probably wear a singlet tomorrow. Um, if I don't film tomorrow, I will see you guys on Thursday. Hopefully, I have a talk with my coach on Wednesday about the next block. Uh, I don't know. Everything's been pretty good right now, and I think my next block's going to start out a little easier because it's like a semi-deload, and then I should, ha I should have probably like RP7 or 8, which would probably tie the PRs that just hit, and then last week should be new PRs, RP9, 9.5. I don't actually know yet because I haven't talked to him, but I assume that's how the block's going to go. So hopefully everything goes well, and I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.